In this tutorial, I'll show you how to add the attendance module to your class homepage so you can easily take attendance in the class. So the first thing you do is go to the home page and then turn editing on. Now we're going to add an activity and it's usually good to do it right at the top there in the top uh, section of your home page. Click on the add an activity and then click attendance. You'll get the adding a new attendance screen. There's not much you have to do to it. It's already got the name attendance in there. The grade you can change if you want to. It's set now to give a uh, hundred for the maximum grade for the uh, entire course. So this is the way you would put the number of points you want to do f for attendance. If you want to only wanted it to be 10 points, then you could go down and change that by by selecting the uh, the 10 if you want to. We're going to leave that at 100. Kind of count as one 100 points of our total uh, points for the whole course. And then you can click Save and Display. Now this is the page that uh, you would get when you normally click the attendance link and it has the tabs of sessions, add, report, export, and settings. So there's no session for this course so you would click add to get a session and that would give you the uh, screen that would allow you to um, add your sessions for the course for attendance. So we're going to uh, Assume here that we've got a, we're going to add several weeks. Uh, you may add one week if you don't click this create multiple sessions. You just add the week uh, for the session day. You can modify that any way you want to and the duration of the class. Uh, you can also add multiple weeks, which we'll do. We'll click uh, the create multiple sessions. And this is the first session, 21st of April, if we wanted to make that the uh, 22nd. Uh, we can change that. Then you've got your start time. Let's say it starts uh, at uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, which is 1400. And we'll make that set. And the duration, uh, let's say, is one hour. Okay, then because you've, we've clicked Create Multiple Sessions, we've got an end date. So let's say we want to end this in June. Uh, make it uh, June the, the 5th and then we want the session days to be uh, the 22nd of April is a Thursday so we're going to say they're Thursdays and it doesn't matter if the end date is Thursday or not it'll go all the Thursdays up until that date and if that date's not a Thursday then it won't have one of the attendances on it uh, and then the frequency is one week and we add the session it gives us the message sessions were successfully generated. We can click on the sessions tab or we can go back and see all the sessions that we created from 422 through 63 which is the last Thursday before 65. So there are your sessions. You can add attendance by clicking, take attendance by clicking the uh, green button that, that uh, when you hover over it it tells you take attendance. Uh, and you can delete one if you want to delete the session or edit the session with that little pencil that's in there. Notice also on this screen you've got uh, select all and deselect all for the check boxes or you can select them individually and then which, whichever ones you've selected you can you can delete them or change them like that. So now I'm going to scroll back up and we can see the settings here is another thing you want to look at at the beginning when you set this up and it gives you the variables in here and these are predefined for you you can change them if you want to uh, they're pretty good for uh, for the default though uh, your first um, att attendance uh, check mark would be under present the next one under late and it's got the acronyms for them over here excused and absent and then it, the default is to give present two points, late one point, excused one point, and absent no points. So you can change any of this if you want to modify it. So that's all the settings. Now let's go back to the course and see where it put the attendance in that first week. There it is at the bottom. If we want to, we can move it right up to the top by clicking this uh, move button and just drag it up there like that 
that'll put it right at the top. Now let's turn the editing off and see what it looks like. For the professor and the student will see something similar to this where they can see their attendance. But if you click the attendance uh, link now, you see the, se it's the same view that we had before with the, the sessions shown. And then there's where you can get, add a new one, get a report for how the students are doing on attendance, export it if you want to, or change the settings that we just saw a minute ago. So you can work that way, but let me take you back and show you another real useful um, thing that you can add. Turn editing on, and we're going to add an attendance block on the right side of the page. We're going to go down to the bottom of these blocks that are over on the right side of the page, and the very last one you'll see there is add a block. So we're going to click that, pull down, and click attendance again. Now it puts you up at the top, so let's scroll down till we can find that block that we added. It should be at the bottom on the right. There's the attendance block. Now if we want to move it up to the top, we can simply drag it up there and then click our page up button till we get to the top. And then maybe put it in here above the latest news. There it sets in there at the very top. Now let's scroll down and take a look at it. The advantage of putting this attendance block in is it gives you all the, the functions that are on the tabs laid out right there on the screen so you can click whichever one you want and not have to click to get into it then click the tab. So that way you can actually hide the attendance that you've got over here in the class and just make this block the thing that you and the students will use. So let's hide this by clicking the hide button. You see it's kind of grayed out and that means when we turn editing back on, but turn editing back off, that that's going to disappear. We'll see it there. Well, we're seeing it from the professor's standpoint, but if we go to a student's uh, standpoint, we wouldn't see it. I'm going to show you that by clicking this return to normal role then I'm going to switch the role to student and you'll see that the attendance that we hid is now gone but you still have the attendance block over here which says attendance has not started yet for this course that's what the student would see now the professor going back to the normal professor role the professor would see the take attendance and add and report and all the other functions that that the professor can do with the attendance block. So that's how you get the attendance modules set up in your home page. Now part two of the video is going to show you how you actually use the attendance module to take attendance and look at reports of how the students are doing and how the student will view their attendance results on their view of the home page. So come back and, uh, and complete this tutorial with part two. Thank you.